Hello everyone, my name is Legeron and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. We have Lohar's Arms Training Event. So right now I'm rank 3, I have done my daily chances, so I want to show you and explain you guys how I actually get this score. Just in case you guys want to aim for a high score, I'm going to give you all the details. It matters a lot, the civilization and having special troops, they do play a very important role, but I'm going to show you everything that you need to know and everything that you need to have if you actually want to go for a high score. So right now if I'm looking at the ranking, I already checked the first player, he's with Arabia. I know for a fact that Lizaveta is also with Arabia. I'm not entirely sure how the other players are, but Arabia is the way to go in this particular event. So that plays the biggest and important role in this particular event. I'm with Ottoman and I literally struggled. Obviously having a 10% attack, having a 50% army expansion, having a rune as high attack as possible. I only had a 7% attack. Scouting, so you can also get World Frenzy, which is 3% attack. These are all important stuff, but I wanna explain you and I wanna show you without Kingdom buff, without titles, without having Warlord from rank four, because these are li really just few players that can actually have them. No one is just gonna promote you to rank four just so you can get Warlord, just like that, so. Those are not things that you can get. Another important thing is from the commander view, probably a lot of you haven't thought about it, but you have damaged barbarians plus 5% and you can put double C as drill master as a second in command. Just in case you didn't know it, they both count. It's not just against barbarians, but anytime. So if you actually want to empower or march as much as you can, you can use the commander view and they do add up from the primary and the secondary. Couple more important things that you wanna know and you wanna coordinate is with your alliance, is the technology, the alliance skill. You have unbridled progress, which is damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units. We are keeping this for Osiris League, so that's when I'm probably and most likely gonna do my best tries, but that's gonna be Sunday, when it's gonna be the last day of the event, so I didn't want to wait that far to actually give you guys a guide about this and we will see then which rank I will be able to get. You definitely want to coordinate with your alliance, see when they plan to pop this buff, if they have it, if not, well, do your best. But if they have it, this will definitely help you a lot. I'm not saying that you should change your civilization just for this event, but I'm just saying that civilization play an important role. I wish I was still with Spain right now to tell you the truth. I would have guarantee be rank one. The commanders that I use was Minamoto and Double C. So you have over here Minamoto and Double C. He's over here as well. They are the best at doing it. I've tried, I've tried Genghis. It's not getting me that far. So at least for me, Minamoto and Double C work the best. This is the equipment that I have on Minamoto, Savage Totem. I'm not saying that you should definitely craft this just for this event. And if you actually are that savage, that you can craft a second one. So that will definitely help you as well, crafting a second one. And that's another 10%. And if you are lucky enough like me and get it with expertise, that's another 13% damage to barbarians. So all this damage to barbarians, you know, is adding up. That's why Double C is doing an amazing job against barbarians with Miyamoto, uh, Miyamoto primary obviously, and equipment that actually gives you a lot of damage to barbarians, that's also something I advise as much as you can or as much as you have, but also don't neglect the fact about, you know, the halberds or about the, the vanguard greaves, because these are also very nice bonuses that you want to have on your calves. I also went the, with the abyssal visage, 4% calf attack definitely, want to empower that as much as possible. After that comes the talent tree from Minamoto and this is the talent tree that I've done for this try and you guys saw the score right at the beginning 283,000 with all this. Attack on calves 2% this is the only thing that you can do only 2 out of 3 everything else is 3 out of 3 Latin power naked rage everything else is maxed out domination and killer instinct it's just this one, two out of three. So you also have the talent tree, you have the pair, you have all the buffs, you have everything you need. What you need more is the place. 
So when you want to teleport, you want to teleport in an area where you're surrounded by your territory. So every time you spawn Lohar, it's going to be on your territory. That's about 22% attack, if I'm correct, that you get by attacking it. So you can get the territorial bonuses. You can get, you can check that on the Alliance technology, how much you get. That's a pretty big boost. And that's definitely uh, very, very powerful. It will give you the damage that you need to actually take it down very, very fast. Couple more things that you want to know is the order of the skills. Now, obviously I've done my tries, so I cannot actually show you from the arms training. Where is it? But I can show you from the system because over here it shows you my three tries. So my first try, 265,000. Definitely horribly wrong. I've done the skills at the beginning. If you're noticing, it does has an importance how you're doing the skills. After that, this the last one is Minamoto with Genghis Khan. I actually thought that this might be a thing. No, it wasn't Minamoto and Genghis Khan. It didn't work for me. And this was my best try with Minamoto and Double C. And I used this arm last. So this is the advice that I want to give you is the rapid regeneration and the disarm that you want to use the last. So I rather use strike of vengeance before rapid regeneration. These two rapid regeneration and master of the bow, you want to use them last. They kind of do a lot or they cripple you a lot. So you definitely want to use them last. This is something that you can use pretty soon at the beginning. Uh, there's not a problem with it will of the battle until you get to like level seven you should be able to kill him before he's popping it so level seven eight if you manage to do that then you're pretty set for a very high score this is the one that i always used in every single tries because for every 10 seconds it doesn't survive 10 seconds so it doesn't get any attack or defense buff. Even if it does get some attack and defense buff, it's nothing crazy. After that, the shield every 10 seconds again. So as long as you're killing him very, very fast, you will not get this. Armor or of thorns. This one probably want to leave it for a little bit later. <clears throat> I believe that that counterattack is hurting you a lot. I've noticed on this try where I got the highest score after i was using it i was losing way more troops after each attack so my you my average troops that i was losing on each attack uh, it was about 4500 up to 5000 after i used armor of thorns i was losing about 6000 so that was a significant increase in troops that i was losing wheel of battle but in the end you will have all of them the order plays an, an important role but you, you will have to put all of them in the end if you want to go for a high score. But these two, I found to be the best that use them last. This is my high score as Ottoman. I'm definitely not going to change civilization for this. Uh, when I'm going to do my final tries, I will probably be king by that time because uh, the temple also resets and I'm rank 5 in the alliance right now. So And we also are going to have unbridled progress. So I believe that or I will get the highest score possible. You also have to mention that I'm also VIP 17, which is also all damage increase. So having as high VIP as possible also plays an important role. That's pretty much about it. Now, I hope this was helpful and I hope you find this very, very helpful. And the next time this is your Voyager Journey signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. <laughs>